Oh yeah, I finished watching Cyberpunk Edge Runners. I finally want to watch it. And one thing I have to say, I know there's a lot of like people in the anime community recommend to watch it, right? But I don't recall them saying that there's nudity in it. <laughs> so when I watched the first episode, I got the shock of my life. <laughs> there was some sus things going on there. It's like no cap. There were some sus things going on. Or maybe because I was watching the Netflix Netflix version of it, which was uncensored, I don't know. There's probably supposed to be some sensor going on there, but there was no sensor at all, and I was like, wow. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Um, wow. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't feel anything, of course, because, I mean, after all, they're just robots. So I didn't, like, have any feel for it. But uh, <laughs> it caught me by surprise. It caught me by surprise, not gonna lie. I was like, whoa, especially I think it was, it was episode 7 or episode 8. Like half of, maybe a quarter of the episode is just nudity, man. And I'm like, thank God I'm watching it on my phone and not on the monitor. <laughs> if not, I'll, I will have to control W so quick. Or control 1, 2 because, you know, control 1, 2 is like tap 1, tap 2 of your of your web browser. I was scared, you know, when I was watching that anime. It was nice. No, no, like, I like the series, um, but yeah, I, after that, I watched finished it. Of course, the first thing I do is I'll check on Reddit to see what are other people's uh, opinion of the anime. And I do agree with some of the pointers. Uh, I think it was after episode 5, 6. I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm not going to spoil anything. After a certain person died, I'm not talking about episode, I think, not the first death of the crew in episode 4 where he got shot by a drunkard guy. I'm talking more about the the main, the leader. Yeah, the leader who got... who got offed. And, uh... And also the, um... the leader's girlfriend. Or the... Or the what do you call it? The, the sub-leader? Assistant leader? I don't know. It's, it's weird. Um... Uh, yeah. After the episode, I do agree with some of the Redditors. They they did mention like after the episode, right? Every episode there's always like someone that has to has to earn the life, you know, you get me? And I do agree with that. Sometimes it kind of feels like they're just doing it for the sake of doing it. But here's the thing is that if the source material is really like this, right? Because it's from uh, CD Project Red. CD Red Project, uh, whatever you call it. If it's really from uh, them, right? Then you have you have to agree that that they really want to adapt the material. They want to be faithful to the material source, the source material, and I sincerely agree with it. But if they are not adapting to the source material, right? Then why are they like just every episode is just meaningless death? You know. Someone just died for the sake of that. Uh, so someone underlife for the sake of underlife. Like it made no sense. But yeah, to me, I like it. I like the anime. It's nice. It's nice. I like the the OSTs and stuff. It's by uh, I think it was a uh, Port Porter Porterson. Is it? Wait, let me check. Yeah, that guy OST is so good. I think he he also did the League of Legends OST for the. Um, Star Guardian. I think that was nice. It was nice. The Star Guardian event sucked, but the, the guy who made the OST... Oh, it's nice. Nice. I'm, I'm hoping to hear more of his OST in future animes and, like, games. I think he he has a knack for it. Not gonna lie. He has a knack for making good OSTs. And I love it. Honestly, love it. 